Always let God guide you. You should never let your feelings cloud your judgment, because if you do, then you're planning to fail. This means that you might never be able to attain the level that God has planned for you. Learn how to control your feelings so that they do not get the best of you. God gave you that emotion, and as true as it is, that you can use it to your advantage as a weapon to guide you through life and support your judgment system, it cannot also be argued that if you let your feelings get the best of you, then you might make wrong decisions now and then. Keep your feelings in check and let God help you and guide you through life. Your feelings cannot match the skills of God. God has conquered the earth and everything in it. God gave men little knowledge to solve little problems. Whenever you have a problem and you're still relying on your feelings to help solve your problems, it means that you are looking up to the little knowledge God has given you to help solve a big problem that is above you. God has everything planned for you, and he gave everyone a capacity they can cope with. Most times, God wouldn't send you a problem that would be beyond this capacity that he has given you. Sometimes you're just the ones that elaborate little problems and make them complicated for yourselves. The best way to deal with problems, whether you can handle them for yourself or not, you are supposed to pray to God first and commit everything into his hands. God is also forgiving, so even if you make mistakes, you have the opportunity to correct your mistakes. God has put in place all the solutions to your problems and everything you need to succeed in life. Putting your trust in your feelings is even like complicating your problems because this means that you're hoping to solve your problems yourself without involving God instead of trusting God. God frowns on this kind of activity and as a believer, this attitude should not be entertained. The best kind of support anyone can get is support from God. God has it all planned out for you. God knows your destiny and the path that each of you will follow to your destiny. You are not aware of your destiny, so sometimes you don't even know how to act. It usually seems like you don't have a purpose in your life, and this is true. A life without God is a life without purpose. Seek God, and He is willing to show you the way. The path of each person is different, and this is the mistake most of you make comparing yourselves to others. You trust in your feelings to tell you about the path you're supposed to take, whereas even your feelings don't know anything and can be extremely biased. It's just like a blind man hopping on another blind man for help to cross the road. God is all-knowing. He knows what you need and exactly when you need it. The best way to be sure that you're on the right path is to trust in God to guide and protect you throughout your journey through life. God will never look away when it comes to his followers. If you pray to God always, he would never turn back on you when you need his help. God loves to help his people, and he has his will for everyone. Most times when you work, it is as if you aren't seeing any results. This might be due to numerous reasons like you not committing to things into God's hands, or you believing you can do this on your own, or you putting your trust in your instinct or feelings, or you not on the right path that is destined to you by God. These reasons might be the reasons things aren't going so smooth for you, and there are simple things you can do to correct these mistakes. Commit things into God's hands before you even start. Let God in on your plan and report every encounter to Him. Also make sure to celebrate your wins with God and let Him know all the challenges that you're facing. God is ever ready to help you if you do all this. Make sure you do not put your trust in your feelings alone. Let God be the one by your side, riding with you through this journey of life. Do not be prideful to an extent that you feel you don't need God anymore. Pray to God always, because this is the only way that you can have a good relationship with God and He might share His will for you with you. Only when you know God's will for you, that is when you can be sure that you're living a purposeful life. The will of God will guide you towards the path that is meant for you, and only then can you achieve your destiny. God already has all this planned out and He is also ready to guide you through. Of course, there will be challenges on the way. You can never hear the story of any successful person that did not face any challenges. 
Challenges are what makes the stories interesting, and it also makes this successful person strong. Overcoming challenges, your belief is stronger and stronger by the day. There would be a mindset instilled in you that God that has been doing it before without failing you would do it again. This confidence is a good thing as it keeps your faith intact with God and there is no amount of temptation from the devil that would shake your faith. Your destiny would be achievable if you put all these things into practice. God wants the best for you but sometimes you act like you don't know what you want for yourselves. It's not a bad idea to have your life planned out, but you should know you didn't create yourself and God who created you must have a reason why he did so. This is a good enough justification to submit all your plans to God for a thorough assessment. Your destiny is already written and it cannot be changed. So have a conversation with God to know his will and what he has planned for you. You should learn how to penetrate God's heart. Be steadfast in your worship of God. Show your devotion and make sure that you don't sin against God. Read the Bible and live your life according to how the scripture has instructed you to. You will come to realize that life is a simple journey with God. You are the ones who complicate things for yourselves. Your feelings are great, but they are only instincts to assist you. Only God can truly guide you through whatever it is that you're going through in life. You experience one problem or the other every day in your life. Some problems are little that you can handle yourselves, while some are big that you need help to solve. The issue is that sometimes you seek help from places that you shouldn't be seeking help from. God has made it easy for you to access Him and ask for whatever help you need whenever you need it. But it's like some of you are passing up on this offer. Seems you forget that it is God alone that has the solution to your problems. You are supposed to accustom yourself to praying to God all the time, whether there is a problem or not. Nowadays, it seems, even if you want to pray to God, you are to pray to Him only when you have a problem and you need Him to save you. Another problem is that after God has helped you with your problems, you forget all about Him. Sometimes you're just impatient to wait on Him. God sees all that is happening and He is in control of it all. God just watches you and lets you do whatever you feel like doing. God knows it all. He's aware of all the situations you're in, but if you do not involve him, he might never involve himself. God's blessings are many, and being able to stay alive is one of them. So as long as you're alive, you owe God appreciation for your life. You can solve little problems, not by your power, but because God has provided you with knowledge and wisdom to solve those little problems. These little problems that you solve also accumulate as experience whenever you're trying to solve similar problems or even a slightly bigger problem or can even be a guide for you through your journey in life. Sometimes the fact that you can solve these problems on your own makes you feel a sense of pride and you start to act like you don't need God anymore in your life. You should not always have to let your feelings lead you when you are trying to solve an issue. Your feelings can only get you to some particular place, but you need God to help solve your actual problems. God got you, and you should always know that. You should know when your feelings will come in handy and when they are not needed at all.